boys, so today we have our top 10 must-have cards video. You guys know every other Sunday we switch in between the best card in every position and the top 10 must-have cards. I won't stop doing these until we stop getting content, and then obviously once Madden 25 comes about back out, we'll obviously jump right back into it. But we still have so many good cards coming out. Golden tickets, fan appreciation. Obviously, there are cards coming out for Red Zone Real and stuff like the Rookie Premier. So those cards will be included on here as well. But if you enjoy top 10s like this, make sure to hit that like, hit the subscribe, and let's just jump right into number 10 here. So at number 10, I got the big man, Travis Kelsey. I think this card is very, very good in the game. Although I do think Evan Ingram has some arguments for the number one tight end in the game because he does get built in double me, which does help against the bottleneck meta. I do think Travis Kelsey is also very, very good in another offensive meta, which is the Vanguards. Vanguards are absolutely broken. You guys know one of the best things in the game. And then on top of that, he gets Yakim up, which I would say maybe a month ago was more valuable. It just feels like every DB now in the game gets it. So he's not as, you know, insane there. But having Vanguard route tech and yak him up, he's insane. One of the best run blocking tight ends game. And he's still very good after the catch too. Number nine, we got Mario Williams. This guy has came in the game and is absolutely dominating. I think there are some very elite pass rushers in the game. He is 94 speed, which I would like to see a little faster. But I think we're just nitpicking there, honestly, because... You know, most quarterbacks in the game are 95 plus speed, but regardless, he's insane because he comes built in with zero AP avalanche, which I will say on a D lineman isn't really valuable at all, honestly. But having zero AP Colossus and then having zero AP C uh, Tackle Supreme and also Run Stopper, which is inside stuff and uh, out no outsiders built into one, he's insane, dude. He gets everything for zero AP. This is a non LTD as well you that you could get for free through the UL challenges or 375K right now on Xbox. As you can see, Mario Williams is a dog. Absolute must have. You are still grinding the game out, grinding coins for RPs. You need this card on your squad. Number eight, we got our man Charvarius Ward in the Division Dynasty promo has produced some elite cards in the game that are still rocking on most people's squads. He is a six foot one corner, 99 speed, and he's very good in both man zone and arguably the best hybrid card in the game he gets universal coverage so if you're running zone universal and then just stack on whatever you want right here everything you can literally get anything in the game you want but he also is insane in the bottleneck meta too which is broken so you can run your one ap bottleneck right here and then you can go ahead and get your inside shade your deep route ko medium me, uh, medium route ko and then get like bench press he is insane in every single meta in the game i think this card needs to be on the squad 350k is absolutely insane for how good this card truly is i think like literally every single meta you could think of he is a top two corner or top three corner in every meta arguably number one in a couple of them as well which is insane seven i got my man jack tatum and jack tatum is a card that i did have at the top 10 in the safety list or i did have at the best spot on the safety list i think this card is also very very good he's kind of similar to our guy um charveris ward we just showed you right there but you can see he has universal built in for zero and he also gets bottleneck for zero so you're spending less ap on that as well and then avalanche for zero and then either pick artists or tackle supreme three x factors built into one so he's gonna get his one step ahead built into the universal he's gonna run around get a ko everywhere in the field bottleneck press him into the dirt broken ability hit stick people for fun he's ridiculous jack tatum honestly could be argued higher and he's also another card where i mean you can see his last sales are all been in the 600s it's crazy it is crazy how good these cards are and how cheap they are because i know people are getting ready for rookie ramirez college football and not but jack tatum is still absolutely insane in this game Number six, you guys know I'm recording this before I go on vacation. I'm actually recording this on Wednesday, so Javon Curse is not out yet, but we know all of his abilities. We know his built-in. This card is ridiculous. So if we click on the card, 97 speed, by the way. He has three abilities built in. Two of them are X-Factors. Unstoppable Force. He has Run Stopper and also Tackle Supreme. Insane. I mean, if you had those three alone, he'd already be insane. But on top of that, you get to be cho choose between three other zero APs, which I will say aren't too insane. But I would take a, like, I, I have no clue. I don't even know what you would use right here. Maybe Edge Start Elite for maybe the, some people that aren't using, uh you know, Fearless. You're on Film Study. I mean, double or nothing on top of the defense. I, I don't even know. Six zero APs is ridiculous. Two of them are X-Factors. Javon Curse, arguably the best D lineman in the game when it comes to straight pass rushing. This card is nasty boys absolutely nasty heading into our top five we have what i like to believe the best user in the game i know there's a rob gronkowski right now but that card is limited he goes back down to a 90 overall after a week so i don't want to include ronk on here because i i know he's better right now but if we're looking at the actual grand scheme of things junior say is the best user in the game six foot three 98 speed so good speed very good height on him as well when we come to abilities yeah, you, I don't even have to explain anything, right? Avalanche, mid zone, lurk artist. You can get sec, uh, secure tackler down here as well. No, tackle supreme right here. And then look, on top of that, you can just throw in some, some BS abilities too. I don't know. What else you want to throw in there? So maybe flat zone too, crusher, enforcer. I don't know. 
I have no clue. This card is ridiculous, though. The best user in the game. I don't even think it's a question. I think he's even art. Ah, I still think Gronk's better than him, but I mean, he's up there, dude. He's up there. No matter what, even next to that Gronk, he still stands a chance. He's a dog, boys. This card is amazing. So at number four, we got CD Lamb. And if you guys watched my top 10 wide receiver video, I mentioned it so many times. It became a little repetitive, but the bottleneck meta, the bottleneck meta, the bottleneck meta. You need X factors to beat them, and there's only a couple in the game that counter them. And as you guys know, it is going to be double me and rack them up in max security. He has them built in as a zero AP, so he's going to run right past the bottlenecks or at least have a better chance versus wide receivers that don't get it. And then on top of that, he obviously gets amazing abilities. Route tech. I believe I believe you can get uh yeah you can get route tag on him evasive this card's nasty boys cd lamp has to be on the squad especially with this meta in the game Anyways, over here at number three i have what i believe to be the best wide receiver in the game in roma dunze this card is ridiculous he's a six foot three version of cd lamp so you're gonna get the exact same thing right you're gonna get that double me built into his card right there to help with the bottlenecks 99 speed you're getting an inch taller as well on him. Although I think some people might like the smaller guy, but when it's six foot two or six foot three, you're basically getting the same exact height right there. And then when it comes to abilities, you get your route tech, your evasive. That's all you need. Those three zero APs, all you need in the game. Maybe you would want tank on him as well. But regardless, I think Rome is going to be insane. I loved his rookie card for, I think it was the combine promo. He was disgusting there. I'm super excited to get this card when I get back from vacation because I need him on the squad ASAP. I am sick of these bottlenecks, man. Number two, we got our guy Aiden Hutchinson. I hate having to like keep on press it in and press it in, but I've had people in my comments say before that they play, they don't play against Aiden Hutchinson or that I shouldn't mention Aiden Hutchinson because they don't match up against him. I wish I had that matchmaking. I think everybody that watches my videos, everybody that still plays the game, absolutely needs this card on their team. He is a game changer. He makes the game 10 times better. Without him, the game is absolutely garbage. It's absolutely, I, I truly feel that way. And there's a reason why. Because as you guys know, whatever, the abilities are cool down here. Dual threats, cool, whatever. I don't I don't care about the zero APs. There's only one thing that you're getting Aiden Hutchinson for. And then it's because he gets his momentum shift work. I can't even find it. I'm absolutely blind. Where's it at? Where is the momentum shift? It's right here. The momentum shift charge up his play. So basically, you'll never have to play against Omaha again unless they're subbing out their quarterback. If they're doing that, they're cringe. I mean, it's it's July. We're not subbing in and out our quarterbacks. We're not doing that. If you're doing that, we gotta get we gotta do something else. But momentum shift's gonna cancel that out. All of the X factors, so they're gonna have to have like a built-in one like Walter Payton or whatnot. But I think this is game changing. It takes off all the pre-lits. Absolutely amazing. He gotta be on a squad. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Number one, I'm going with that new DRC coming out. I think this card is game changer. I think EA knows what they're doing as well. They absolutely know what they are doing, dude. This is disgusting. Look at his built-in abilities. Universal and bottleneck. If you threw the card out there like that, just, just throw it out there like that, he's arguably corner one with just that. Literally, not. you don't even need anything else. He's arguably corner one with that. But on top of that, he gets three zero APs as well. I don't even know what you'd use. Bench press, obviously. And then on top of that, maybe a film study, Acrobat. He is disgusting. I mean, this card is nasty. I think the only negative is that he doesn't get a tackling ability, like secure or something. That would have made him by far the best card in the game. But I still think six foot two and getting the stuff that like Darrell Revis and Charvarius Ward are getting, it's insane, dude. He's basically all those guys, but just way bigger. I think DRC's got to be on everybody's squad tomorrow. The only thing that sucks is that you're going to be putting him into rookie Ramirez set. So hopefully he's actually not too expensive or we can actually keep one on our team as well. You know what I mean? Boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The top 10 must-have cards list is always one of my favorite ones to do. I love looking at the general game right now, how the meta shifts, even this late in the year. It's super fun to update something like this. But I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.